Mr. Sheffield. Hi, you remember my mother? Mrs. Fine, charmed. That makes two of us. <laughs> I'd like you to meet my husband. Uh, Morty! <laughs> God, it's hereditary. That's nothing. On my father's side, they all have webbed toes, but excellent swimmers. <laughs> Sylvia Fine. C.C. Babcock, how do you do? Like a fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to bring Morty a plate. No skin, no butter, no sauce. Ma, Gandhi ate better than that. <laughs> better he should drop dead on me? Like I'd notice. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Sweetheart! Oh, you scared me half to death. We were worried sick. You didn't even know she was missing. Well, I would have been worried sick had I known. <laughs> Honey, what happened? Why, why did you run away? Well... Oh, it doesn't matter why. All that matters is she's okay. See, Sissy, you're smothering the child. <laughs> she won't be happy till she's finished her off. <laughs> Gracie, dear, go and get your coat, and we'll discuss this at home. But I don't want to go home. After they cut the cake, we're having schnapps. <laughs> that sounds delightful. But you see, the, today is Miss Fine's day off, and, well, we wouldn't want to intrude. So then it's true. That's true, Angel. That you only spend time with me because Daddy pays you to. <gasps> What kind of a vicious, cold-hearted imbecile would say something like that? Well, I meant it in the nicest possible way. <laughs> Cece! Uh, Sheffield! Oh, God, Uncle Myron. The nightmare continues. I want you to meet my grandson, Robbie. Myron, not now. Hit it! Grey skies are gonna clear up, put on a hat. Cece, what on earth possessed you? Well, they were all ganging Put up on, on me. So you take it out on a six-year-old. Well, she started it. Oh, that's very me. mature. He's well, that's the pot die. calling the kettle so black. Come on, it's too big. The important thing is... Will you stop? Ah! <laughs> well, that was only slightly more painful than the toothache. Meanwhile, what about poor little... Where's Grace? Well, she was right here. See? And you both jumped down my throat. <laughs> Gracie! Looking for something? Yeah. If she's three foot two and not a Jew? <laughs> she's in the powder room crying her little eyes out. Oh, I better go talk to her. No, no Miss Fine, she's my daughter. I'll talk to her. <laughs> Maybe you better talk to her. <laughs> Creep. Gracie. I'm never coming out. Oh, honey, aren't you getting a little claustrophobic in that teeny weeny stool? <laughs> Come here, baby. Oi! One day with my mother and you're ready for Jenny Craig. <laughs> honey, I want you to listen to me very carefully, okay? Okay. All right. It's true, I do get paid to take care of you but I don't get paid extra for loving you. And I do. I love you, too. <laughs> oh, let's face it, Grace. I'm no Ivana Trump. Of course, neither is she anymore. <laughs> I got one lousy Christmas club account with maybe 49 cents in it, so I gotta work for a living. Lucky for me, I got the best job in the whole wide world. I love you. So you don't just do it for the money? Believe me, by the time they take out state and federal and FICA, it's a labor of love. <laughs> Let's see. What do we look like here? Oh, look, I'm a mess. What's Jeffrey Mescreen going to think I'm all puffy? <laughs> Honey, he's going to think you're gorgeous. Now you first look like his mother.